This is problem 3.168 and uh, for this problem you're gonna go ahead and analyze this part from A. Okay, so let's take one fixed point over here, A. I'm gonna analyze this guy. So this is the original length, right? Original and then there's the uh, distributed actual load. So, what? Distributed load. Then you're going to have something like this, let's say. And I'm going to call this guy, let's say, uh, delta T for tensile. Um, I mean, E, well, that's well, it doesn't really matter. Cat or dog, whatever that is. Okay. And then, anyways, uh, with another one, with the reaction for the B. Because when you expand, you have a really strong reaction force at B, right? You hit the wall right here, so there must be a reaction force against it. And because of that reaction force, you go back to the original length, right? And I'm going to say this is delta compression. And it's also make physical sense, so like this, you're going to stay the same between the two walls, so it's not going to break the walls or anything. Alright? Okay, so with that, you know uh, that uh, E is basically integral 0 to L of um, the formula is N dx over EA. And N in this case is a function of x, right? So let's say this is whatever thing is x, then N is going to be the distributed load, the uh, linear density times x. You do the integral, you're going to have lambda x squared over ea2. So lambda, this is a constant, and then x squared over 2 is the integral from 0 to l. And you get lambda over ea times l squared over 2. Yeah. And then as you calculate for uh, compression, this one b is just a constant, so you can just use the formula. Um, B times L over EA. And from this, you can tell that this guy is the same as this guy, right? The, the uh, distributed load make it expand this much, and the reaction force make it compress this much, and that amount is the same, just to fit with the constraint, from the physical constraint of the problem. So, delta E equal to delta C. Which means lambda over EA times L squared over 2 equal to BL over EA. This cancel out, uh, this cancel out. So you have B equal to uh, lambda times L over 2. Then what is lambda? Uh, well, that's Q in this case. So 20, 20 uh, M Newton, uh, 200, my bad, 200 M Newton over uh, meter times L. L in this case is 4 meter. And then divided by 2. So, and then cancel out. Do the math is basically uh, 400 mn. That's the reaction force at B. And reaction force at B should be equal to the reaction force at A. If you do the equilibrium, right, be like this, then A has to be like this, so it has to be the same uh, magnitude.
And so I get B like this, and A has to be the same. Just for equilibrium in the X direction. Oh wait, never mind. I take it back. I think I forgot one thing. I forgot the distributed load. Okay, so I actually have to do that. Never mind. Yeah, so this is the free body diagram. And then, uh, okay, so in X direction, we have A plus, um, this is L, right? so lambda times L minus B equals zero. Therefore, A is basically B minus lambda L, which B is 400. Uh, L is four, and then lambda is 200. Excuse me. Oh, okay, negative 400. Um, M Newton. And so what that means is A is going to be to the left. And that will be the uh, final solution to this problem.